kołcie, nie Hey man, say man, what's happening, man? I'm your host, Gator J, man. What's happening? Bless Nick, man. What's yes, happening, sir. man? This is episode 102. 102? Oh, yeah, Starving 102. Starving on the podcast, man. Starving on the podcast. That's TSA underscore podcast, man. We got some good with. people in the building with us tonight, man. We got yeah. my boy as usual, but sometimes come through my boy Nick. You know what I mean? In here with us tonight. Yeah, she, you all right tonight? Doing I'm good? good, baby. I'm good. Man, man, yeah. man, what's going on? Smith, everybody, you know, the boys tonight. What's happening, Smith? Fast, fast. Man, but our special guest, not special host tonight. My boy, Music. What's going on, my guy? What's going on? What's going on? Everybody good? Everybody good? Fast, fast, fast. Appreciate you pulling up, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. So we call your music. We call you Music. Is that your full name? Nah, that ain't my legal name, nah. Not legal name, I'm talking about as in the, the game. Oh, my stage name. So yeah. the full thing is Mr. Music. Mr. But music. people really just call me Music. Okay, okay. Music, okay. Man. Where you from, man? Tell the folk where you from. I'm from Lathonia, Georgia. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Okay. How you got into music? Man, I started off when I was like, before elementary school. And I grew up uh, playing my daddy's guitar. And then I got into elementary school and joined the marching band. Middle school was in the marching band. High school in the marching band. Joined the, the chorus and went to college, taught myself how to play the bass guitar and just took off from there, really. Okay, okay. okay. So so you're a real musician? Yeah. Okay, okay. Instruments. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You rap? You sing? You just no, tell, Yeah, tell them the genre of your music. So it's more so like a R&B and soul and pop. So uh, I produce, write, record, engineer, sing, all that stuff myself. Okay, okay. You make the beats yourself. So I mean, I grew up in high school, in high school, yeah, making beats. Me and my boys like being in the back of the classroom, supposed to be paying attention, we ain't paying attention. We in the back of the classroom making beats, uh, you know, like a little FL, a little garage band and stuff. And um, the beats kind of, kept growing and growing and then I started getting introduced into like producing for songwriters and stuff like that. Got to a point where I said, you know what, I'm just start doing this myself. So I started writing songs, started recording, singing, performing, and it became music. Mm. Just, just became Mr. Music after that? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Well, what's up? Actually, um, it really came because I used to have conversations with my, call them my OGs, you know, old heads. I used to have conversations with them. They'd be saying stuff on the radio like, that ain't real music, this ain't real music, yada, yada, yada. So I said, you know what? If I'm gonna call myself music, I'm gonna change it. So I call, I spell it M-U-Z-I-X. I say, you don't wanna say that's real music and that's not real music, this gonna be music right here. So that's kind of where that came about. Mm. So tell them about your drip, man. What, what, what you got on, man? What, uh, is that something you made, or is it some custom? Nah, everything I do is pretty much in-house. So everything is pretty much me, but I made yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is my my jacket. I call it the patch. Um, on the back is my my logo, which is the butterfly. And on my pants, you got the same thing as the butterfly. Okay. So um, and people ask all the time, what is it with the butterfly? So mentally, when I feel like I'm going through something, like when I'm down, you know what I'm saying, in a dark place, I just close my eyes and I see this huge butterfly, like bigger than life, just flying over me. That kind of keeps me, motivates me to keep going. Hey, you always see that butterfly in your eyes? Pretty much. I mean, since I was young, I never really could explain it, never really knew what it meant. But that talk in the mic, Gator. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. Smee's telling you to talk in the mic, man. My bad, my bad. Yeah, better. Oh, um, go ahead, you say what you saying, man? No, I was just saying, I mean, ever since I was younger, um, that kind of just started appearing. I never really could explain it, but I knew it was something special about the butterfly. I kind of did my research and realized butterflies are one of the only insects in nature that are symmetrically perfect. 
So I, I'm looking at your uh, your Instagram, man. It look like you've been on the run, man. You got like you got some music dropping. You got some going on. You see, he was on a, uh, another podcast earlier. You know what I'm saying? Look like you doing like a little tour or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What you what you got? What you got up your sleeve, bro? Kind of something like that. I got a new single coming out uh, at the end of this month, March 31st, called Brandy. Um, that I'm really pushing for, getting some radio play, getting some more marketing and promotion for. It. Um, that's coming out March 31st, and then after that, I got two music videos dropping. Mm. I've been working with uh, PMG, which is a Pinnacle Media Group. Man, they do they do some real good job, videography and editing, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which means we got that track, man, Brandy. Okay. Shit. Brandy. This nigga that saw his soul oh, ain't Brandy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They go LS LS Lanes in the building. What's happening? Yeah, just jump in here. Yeah, just jump in. Yeah, LS came in. Nah, just jump in. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good go, man. Good go, man. That would have been some good footage when we got you falling on that. Super man in this hoe. What up, y'all? What up, Mr. Music? Um, yeah. Oh, I heard about you. <laughs> I heard about you. What's up, fellas? Hey, what What's you going on? I heard you be making on beats on a little old ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> you play everything, huh? Everything. All right, guess what's up? Yeah. I'm here for it. Hey. How you doing today? You doing all right today? You coming in late? Blessed and highly favored, Saints. Hey. How y'all feeling? Feeling great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I ain't even smoke yet. I'm goofy as hell right now. <laughs> hey, it's been a good week. I won't complain. That's what's up. Hey, I got a show coming up on Saturday too. We'll talk about it later. So I'm cool. I'm turned up. Word, 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 word. So yeah, we was just sitting here talking to Mr. Music. You know what I'm saying? He got the drip. You know what I'm saying? The shit, the the, the stuff on his pants is butterflies. Okay. And it says, logo, tell, tell her what, what it represents again. So the butterfly, ever since I was young, I could never really explain it. But whenever I was like in a dark place or like going through something, I closed my eyes and I see like this butterfly, like huge, bigger than life, just flying over me. And no matter what, that would always push me and motivate me and inspire me to like just be better in life. Just get myself out of that dark place. Doesn't the butterfly mean something like uh, life rebirth. or some rebirth for life or something like that? Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. It's the music in the in the building. Which means we got that brandy, man. We got that got that track. Go ahead and introduce that track for us, man. Oh, like I said, brandy is releasing March thirty first, the end of this month. Um, you can catch it on all platforms. Uh, pretty much everywhere, anywhere, man. So that man, we the first to get it, then, huh? Uh, Since it ain't technically no. Oh, okay. <laughs> technically no. Nah, sorry. Oh, I like it. Uh, first coming from here, first live. You heard it from us at all. <laughs> you know who that? What is it? Brandy? Brandy. It'll sneeze. Yeah. The Starving Artist Podcast. Uh, yeah. You now rocking with the press. Oh my God. Dropping the hot shit all fucking night. Yo. 
your bar. Old barista don't have no whiskey. No, 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 no. Just grab the cognac with just a few drops. Cause boy, you're smooth like brandy, babe. TSA underscore podcast, and this is 102. 102, yeah. episode 102, man. man that song so good, oh, it got me wanting to kind of talk smooth. <laughs> you did, we got me kind of wanting to talk smooth that right now. Yeah. Do it, do it. If you hear Mr. Hub, we're here. Hey, what's up? We're talking all this podcast. <laughs> man, I like that song, y'all. That shit was fun. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. Brandon. That shit uh, kind of... I don't want to say it. I think it's kind of blasphemous, blasphemous to say it, but it kind of sound like Prince a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah it's good, but I'm just saying, like, Prince. Especially if it's a great. That shit was dope, man. You got to put that on uh, all platforms right now, ASAP. You playing all instruments too, right? Yup. Yeah. That shit hard. Man. All instruments, like songwriting, get a recording, verse engineering, all of that. All of that. It's hard, it's hard. You say what? Let me get a verse at the end of that. 
Joe gonna put some drums, some uh, some yeah. different drums on. Get on the remix. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit's fine. Appreciate it. Yeah, time, yeah, man. man. Yeah, you know about it. <laughs> Eat booty tonight. Know <laughs> <laughs> it, boy. Like Saber. But nah, uh, just, I mean, honestly, just y'all just bobbing y'all head, you know what I'm saying? Like, as an artist, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that says something. That's like talking without words. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hard, yeah. That was, that was some real <laughs> head bobbing right there. Right. And then you on you your own genre. And that that's one of the biggest things like I've been having to I don't wanna say defend but like just coming out in music like my whole career is constantly been you go to a showcase and I gotta follow up after ten rappers, twelve rappers. Right, right, right. And I mean it is what it is, I ain't complaining, but it's a completely different shift. Right. And it's like you have to shift the whole way. Everybody right, yeah. in the bitch might be hype. Yeah, yeah, Come red yeah, yeah. shit down. I'm, I'm really like yeah. chilling down, like we finna chill out. And that's another thing too. I go to a lot of performances and I'm like, can I play my guitar? Can I do that? Like we ain't got no amps, we ain't got no chords. What are you talking about? We got a DJ and one microphone. And it's like, you know, you can't really, you can't really put on a show. Yeah, you can't put on that you know live I mean? performance like you want. You know what I'm saying? That's about to change, right? Okay. I ain't gonna lie, my ass be like shit. Play this motherfucker over the speaker. Hey, <laughs> like I'm doing it, shit. Hey. We gonna give the beat. Yeah, you know, it's all right. Trying to yeah, get it. Yeah, the guy do this. You man. might have to do that, Mr. Music. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta hustle you your way into it. You gotta do what you gotta do. You're right. You're right. Shit, back in my day when we was tr- when I was trying to rap this shit. Hey. Yeah. Our first, uh, our first song that we ever did, we got the damn go to a club in Barnesville mm. called the Quake, yo. Mm. And we went in this motherfucker, and when they played it, we didn't really know the difference between like the different pitches and shit that had to be. So it was so distorted, you couldn't hear shit we sang. So literally, I had to grab a mic, and I wasn't rapping on top of that motherfucker, like, like I'm doing the whole show. Just because, man, you remember that shit? That was the first time we ever played music in the club. We mm. had no live guitars. No, exactly. we had no shit like that, but I had to do what I had to do because I feel like, man, they fucking up my music. You mm. can't hear this shit. Ain't, Ain't nobody, nobody vibing to this shit. shit. Yes, they would. But she, get what? He said, we're going to make this trip <laughs> worth it. <laughs> hey, it was a random day. That shit was hard. Nigga was fucking up. Crime in Barnesville. We wasn't right that way. Everybody could have had songs like this a bucket today. I wouldn't say that. That was around that era. Right, that wasn't the only song we, we had. About, man? What we talking about? What we talking about today, Gator? Tonight. Right, we talking about all service shit, apparently. Hey. Y'all, y'all seen the Chris Rock? How about, how about the Jake Paul shit? Uh, I ain't seen the video though. I ain't I seen the video. Why was he running like that? What was that? Man, cause he always talking shit to Floyd Mayweather. What's going on? What's up, boy? I can't have what I want. So what you supposed to do? I'm just working, fam. What happened? You're not talking anymore since your loss? What happened since your loss? He ain't a real boxer anyway, man. Oh, he's running. Yeah, he, he too And then he took out Randy. Took out Randy, yo. Yeah, it's all publicity. When was that fight? Why is he running? That fight, oh, but it was right. a uh, I think that's the last time. It was from when he smacked the head off his head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He running now. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like talking yeah, about Jake talking. Paul, but you know, yeah, it's all good. I mean, shit, he lost his, he lost against who? What was it? Tyson, son, Tyson Fury, young, younger brother, or something. Yeah. He's still 
running? No, nah, this is this the what's the name after Jake. I mean, when Jake Paul come back, somebody had like 50 niggas with him. Oh, okay. What's up, you want the fame? You want the fame? <laughs> he said, "Y'all want to sign a peace that treaty?" Shit all fake, man. <laughs> it's fake, bro. It looks fake. It's, it's stunning. <laughs> Look at the money. Look at the We gonna get on that too. Yeah, the cartel. Oh, uh, hold on. But car- you see, they apologize for that shit, yo. Yeah. yeah. They apologizing down and gave five of their men up for that shit. So that means they said they ain't trying to kidnap America. So it means mm. somebody in America done reached out to them like, hey, they send a the threat over man. to them. Mm. Is that what it is? Is that what we got? Uh, Some yeah. gangster nah, shit going I, on. Really, they say they got in the middle of cartel shit. It wasn't for them. That's what they said in the first place. <clears throat> but you gotta think about that. We just seen an incident a couple months ago where uh, it was. Two gay guys in the car. They was on their way to see one of them mama. And he was like, they uh stopped him and they were like, the cartel pulled him over and like, where you going? Like, do my trade, do my trade, like no. And they let him go. And then I just seen another little incident on here where uh I think it is it K Money. Uh oh, Chameleon. Yeah. She showed her shit where they was getting up. And the thing is, she didn't right, even know. She didn't even know what was going on in Mexico about the killings and kidnappings at the time of this, right? right. She didn't well, even know they was killing the and kidnapping. Uh, underlining things. Don't go to Mexico. I ain't gonna say that, yo. Don't go to Mexico. Well, no, they just say go to Mexico. Oh, yeah, stay in. Even resorts, because remember, they was killing us not too long, a few years Don't back, too, over go there. To Mexico. Then all of a sudden, the travel industry opened. Everybody want to go to Mexico. Everybody want to go to Puerto shit. Plata, Puerto Cayman, yes, all that. Me went over there had a good time. They have a great time, but they too much. It's too much. Mexico? They going to get tired of us in a minute. Yeah. Cancun, all that. Puerto Plata. That shit. We even traveled outside of the borders, even like even though we wasn't supposed to. Hell, we went outside of like the tourist spot. Shit, we were going on little scooters and shit. They couldn't tell us shit. We got chill out for a bit. If they got something going on. Like we was having fun, but boy, you seen some real life shit down there. Like nigga, house not even big as this room. Sleeping with the chickens. Damn, the couches and shit's outside and shit. So what y'all, I mean, they went, the people that got uh, ki- uh, kidnapped, they were going down there for, a, she was BBL. going out, down there for a tummy tuck or something like yeah, that. Yeah, BBL, I think it was. Right, right, right. The brothers, huh? Um, Two of them got killed, yeah. Probably trying to run this emotion. Don't go to Mexico. Man, take your guns with you, man. Just stay out. Man. Stay I ain't out. Never been to Mexico. <laughs> I been. Go to Jamaica. Where we went? Where we went? Uh, what was that? Uh, Wadez. Wadez, nigga. We was in Wadez. 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 The Mexican called Wadez. But yeah, Wadez. we was out there. We, I mean, shit. We was kids though. Like when we went out there, they was like, we was in, we was with the church. We was in like a bus. <laughs> Oh, okay. Y'all was so protected. y'all was protected. But no, no, like Chris, no, though. Look, we, we went through the mall, the little ghetto mall and shit, buying fake jewelry, turned my finger green. <laughs> went back on the bus. <laughs> Nigga, everybody just like banging on our window. It was like, like a whole crowd of people just banging on our window. Like they was trying to like get at us. So I don't know, bro. This shit was crazy. That shit was like a little hectic. That was that gas, was back when yeah. it was safe to go over there. You know what I'm saying? Now it was just like these been days. I mean, I tell Ben over there. Always been around. That's the way I. We call it El Paso, where Marcus used to go over there like every night. Every night, man. Across the border, bro. Ten minute drive to go to Juarez. Juarez. Yeah. 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 Yeah
horas. <laughs> what is? Or is? Yeah, man. AD Mexico. Man, yeah. I think it's bad, but I look at it just like for us, bro. Yo, anytime you go somewhere else to you, it's fucking hell. You feel me? Like if you go to Chicago, nigga, say, boy, don't go to Chicago. Them nigga crazy. Don't go to but certain when you parts go, of Chicago. When, yeah. Don't go to, don't go to such a, them nigga crazy. You feel me? And to me, they just Spanish and they uh, they got their own type of language. But get what? They got their own game. If a black nigga run across the wrong crib in Cali, he gonna get his head split. It ain't too much of a difference. They're a gang. I just call it a cartel. To me, it's the same damn thing. We you are run gang. across the gang in damn Chicago, you gonna get your shit buzzed. So to you, they dangerous because one, you can't speak Spanish. But other than that, I guarantee half of the, everybody know everybody. <laughs> shit, they know who is who and what's what. They, they got the same shit we got going on. Now, are they in more poverty? Pro- are they more in poverty? Yes. Yeah. Same thing. But you get what I'm saying. You feel me? It's all, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you can go and be safe, but you got to know where the fuck you supposed to be at. If they tell you stay in your, this motherfucking line, That's you stay in them on. But that's the same thing they tell your ass when you go out to Cali or when you go to Chicago. You go to these areas and you don't go outside that motherfucker. It's no different for us here now. The point is, if you want to go, go. Don't let that shit stop you. Y'all keep talking about Nigga, this is a whole different country, bro. What are you talking about? This is not Chicago, bro. Going going to Mexico is not Chicago. It's not the same, yeah, bro. It's not the same. Bro. Is that what you said? It's, it's the same? Uh, what you I say when them flights get cheap, I'm gone. <laughs> what was that? What was that? I don't know when them flights get cheap, I'm out this bitch. Then that motherfucker say $95 round trip. Oh, I do, bitch, you hear me? Matter of fact, boost me up the first class. You hear me? Yes. Shit. You say you ain't gonna fly the plane? You ain't gonna hey, fly the plane? Hey, let me drive this bitch. That's all I'm saying. Let me drive the boat. Man. <laughs> ah, fuck that. Let me drive the plane. You hear me? Hell no. So, so the round trip tickets, $95 first class. I'll take the first seat, please. Jeez. Speaking of the planes, though, what about dude trying to damn come for the flight attendant and everybody oh, in the plane? Oh, he tried to damn open the emergency door while they was up? Yeah, yeah, and it was actually disarmed, right? Yeah, they, the he just didn't get it right? open. Yeah, I was, the spoon he tried to stab him. I was thinking, did he like, did he break the spoon? Like, take uh, his time to like. Uh, hey, you can find that motherfucker down. That motherfucker be ashamed. Like, you got a lot you can do with this. It's thing. gonna take a minute though, unless you skilled. You gotta think about this. You don't know when he went to the airport. At the time, it was a spoon. But by the time he got through the bathroom and had time to sit there and check his flight, go to the bathroom and find that bitch there. He wasn't he supposed to get before. through with the spoon, though. You Where the spoon know, come from? The spoon could have came from when you yeah, eating in the damn restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. You eating in the restaurant. It's a restaurant all in there. They got silver spoons in that bitch. Yeah, like we don't let you take it. Was a plastic spoon or I don't know. It was a it was a metal spoon. Yeah, details on the well, spoon. Even if it's a silver spoon, you gotta think about this. When you go in the restaurants in like the in the uh in the uh airports, you go they got restaurants in there, you get real forks and knives and shit. And you sit in there and they tell you, yo, be at the airport at least two to three hours before your flight. You got two to three hours. You sitting inside this motherfucker to do whatever you want to do. Right, he could have And he could have did all this shit before the flight because it could have been already pre pre planned. It seemed like it. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, shit, it's niggas in jail learn how to make shanks out of anything. So, shit, it's possible to make that shit happen in the airport where you free. Broken in half to make a weapon. Well, he made made a shank. I don't know. 
He ain't killed nobody though. If y'all were on the plane, they got they are they got him locked down. If y'all were on the plane, y'all sitting back or y'all? Hell no, I'm taking all my bell shit. If I got the ghost shit, we going my way, not his way. Fuck. Hell no, I'm finna try to hit you niggas on the ass. Kung Fu on the ass, some shit. We finna fight. I ain't finna sit here and play with this man. Right. I look at it like this. We all the same size. Look here, Captain, you fly this plane, and I'm gonna handle this shit in the back. That's right. You feel me? It's a hundred niggas on this damn plane. If we can't take this one nigga down, at least five of us. Hey, look here, we down. need to go now. <laughs> we all Cause we some sorry sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, please. What that is? <laughs> oh, oh. Memphis, I think he retarded this shit. Uh, I think, I don't, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, no, he, he was on live, yeah, basically, on Instagram, showing the gun, brandishing the gun. Pretty much. But he was inside of a club for one. So one, you supposed to get searched when you go into a club. They say it was a club, a party, I don't know. He was I at his house, there. it was a party. Um, but he was on live brandishing. Brandish a little gun, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. so what? I mean, right. I don't care. Like, everybody got a gun, bro. Everybody. everybody. Like, every, <laughs> but this is the thing. Land of the gun. He is being looked at, bro. He is a role model to somebody. He's a social status. Like, nigga. And he in Memphis. Nigga. Memphis is already going wild enough. Like, she, you already, you condoning this shit. They trying to get niggas to write songs about stop the violence and shit. And you doing this shit and it's already in your country. You a fucking million, a millionaire, nigga. Who the fuck are you to play with a fucking gun? We don't care you got a gun. Let me see you play with that ball, nigga. No homo. Hey, let me see you play with that motherfucker. Hey. Everything. So, so, okay, so I understand don't make mo- don't make no mistake. I mean you got a chance to make a mistake. And I believe shit. Like by all means we all do our own thing. But guess what? Nigga, when you get your ass on camera, nigga, you telling on yourself. You snitched on yourself. You get what you deserve, like. These motherfuckers didn't have to come find you. They ain't gonna do no crime. So no, what? I ain't somebody as in crime wise. I'm talking about in his damn contract when he wrote this country, he knew what he could get in trouble for. That this contract? Are you speculating? It probably. Yeah, it's always in that country that they gotta keep their ass out of that's trouble true. for a certain shit. And then but she, that's the first she, time he was a gun. You think that was in. Written in this okay. contract, you can't brandish a gun on the street. No, hold on. So at first, he only got suspended for three days. So then he got. So then, because he got charges, so he. Shit, we don't know what he got going on. This nigga could have been a felon or anything he had going on before. So they didn't pull the case against this nigga. So we don't know what's going on. I can show you, I can show you a brandishing. Brandishing is a fucking misdemeanor. So that's one thing. That's just a little quick misdemeanor slap on the wrist. But they say they didn't open up an investigation on it, man. I can't tell you what that is because I don't know, but. What it is, you know. Nah, tell I don't me. know because I'm just speaking off the <laughs> shit. When you get charged, it's hell. It, it's based off of something. Word, word, word. Like, it's just like shit. If, if I show, I can show you my gun all day on my hip and everything. And it don't be no problem because shit, I got my gun license on my hip. And then, but this nigga that pulled it out and apparently shit, even somebody had to feel some kind of way to call the police or find or something for him to get extra charge. You feel me? How many times y'all been in the spot and seen a nigga pull out a gun and then get charged? <laughs> Yo, when have you seen me pull that bitch out on anybody's TV? You pulled it out and, and, 
<laughs> well, I never let's... did it on the camera. <laughs> okay. And mine was always for a purpose. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, the shit is like, they pulled out charges on this man. So I don't know what he did, but I just think when you in that line, like, if you not really living that life, you shouldn't even try to even play this shit. Yeah, no, nah, I agree. But we all know we're in a castle society. Look at my boy Yay. We ain't heard from my boy in a minute. About to get signed, re-signed by Adidas. Adidas. So? About to re-sign them, bro. So what you think about that? I think it's a great thing. I mean, that's a rumor. It's a rumor. Um, That's what I heard, man. That's what's in the streets, you know? I don't got the full details of the it's shit, like but right it's either a rumor, it's either true or it's a rumor. I don't know. We don't know. I just heard about this. Shit. Everybody talking about this shit. <laughs> wow. They need to get rid of them shit. They lost like a billion dollars or some shit. They lost more than that. Like, it was like three or something. Wow. Yeah. Would you go back to him if you would you go back to the yeah, if they give me the yeah, right contract. Under my terms, yeah. On my terms. Absolutely. My power, nigga. I crack it up on my power. Crack a job. Or all that he's talking. If they let him, if they put him back in his life, why wouldn't he go ahead and go to China and start his own distribution company? You ain't got the answer, Sway. <laughs> I'm just asking, yo. <laughs> I, hope, I hope his next move is his best move. Like, for real. I'm rooting for him. Man, I'm rooting for you. Yeah. President 2024. <laughs> I'm with you. Nah, I ain't got to like that. Man, he gonna free that I bet you he run. He'll be a top. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they ready now. Why we vote for they ready now. I would not vote for you. Yeah. I vote for you. pull up. We got you. I vote for him because I'm not in any of I vote for Boosie, yo. <laughs> 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 hey. Hey. Boosie got the best ass nigga, yo. Boosie real. You can't be mad at Boosie, but now you say Boosie keeping 1,000 out of every rapper it is. Did it turn like a man? Yeah, all of this. So what you mean? Boosie was the realest out of all of them, I think. Hey. So, Mr. Music, man, we about to get into your second song. So, like, just a few questions, man. Like, do you want to go, you want to stay independent, or do you want to, like, sign? You know what I'm saying? Because I know <clears throat> nowadays it's, 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 I guess, easier to stay independent, right? It's, mm-hmm. uh... Well, it depends on what you're doing. It's easier to stay independent as far as making your own timelines, your own deadlines, your own material, what you want to do, when you want to do it. However, you know, if you're signed, you're still working, but you ain't got to you ain't got to worry about connections. Yeah. Because you, know, you get so many people in the music industry, and I ain't really deep into it like that, but I didn't you know, mess some people out some people. They keep saying, you know, it ain't about what you know, but it's about who you know. To an extent, it's a little beyond that. It's about who you know, and it's also about how much you got. Right. And uh, yeah. it's the music industry really is just the money industry. You know what I mean? And it's ran by people who really don't know much about music at all. Because right. you got you look at how many artists have been shut down or have been turned away that have eventually became some of the biggest artists in the world. Versus some of the artists who are I don't want to call them industry plants, but some of the artists who were, as a young person, they were like, yeah, this person going to be big. And they did this and gave them this and gave them that. And it's like, okay, you got one, two songs out of them now with You know what I mean? Yeah. But your question is another thing just going back to like longevity. Do you want, do you want hype real quick or do you want to be an artist with longevity? You, know what I mean? do you want just one song that a million people heard or do you want album that 500,000 people heard, but they listen to it over and over. What you want? The latter. 
So I, will, I, will, I tell people all the time, man, I don't, I don't care about a million people listening to my song. If I get 10 people listening to my song, if they listen to it a hundred times, they listen to it a thousand times, I'm cool with it. Yeah. That just tells me that I'm making music that's timely. Is that what? All stream platforms, everywhere. You put that brandy on there, man, for real. So, Mr. Music, what do you right here, See, I don't, I don't agree with that. Me personally, me personally, I'm saying I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, really, just because I don't know me, I make all my stuff. Like I said, write, record, engineer, produce all this stuff. I feel like if I'm doing all of that, I can't just sell it. You know what I mean? Now it's, it's different for people who don't do that though. I mean, I feel what? like, I don't know, man. I think you might fold when you see that check, though. Huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, what's the producer that just got That's seven? Yeah, That's Metro Boom is just got seven, seven, seven million. Seven million. And he yeah. know he can, probably he can make, make another one. Another. It's like nothing right. to make another. <laughs> That's easy. And this, he didn't even say his whole catalog. He just mm-hmm. sold some of them. Yeah, I'll Future take that check. Future sold him for like one song. So... They, these boys, and then this is all their old music. So this is the thing. I did not really got paid out this old music. So they now, still getting and I got my yeah, my yeah. residual still coming in. Yeah, but now when they sell the catalog, it's over with. But the thing is, is anybody finna buy another seventy million dollars worth of my catalog? To? That's my question. Is anybody finna go take these? Song and make another 70 million. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'll be okay with it. Man, I, <laughs> man, I, and I don't see myself seeing no kind of way in the next 40 years of me doubling yeah, another 70 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like even future shit, he got to sell mixtapes in his shit. Yeah. Mixtape, yeah. nigga, yeah. nigga got to pay for mixtape. Yeah. Shit, I don't see why not to do that. Mm, I can't do it. What we got next, man? What song we got next? Schmees. How did this song come about? Jennifer, just a friend, old friend, girl. Okay. Like my home girl. Sweet Jennifer, Jennifer. I know you hear me calling your. Happy Women's History Month, ladies and Jennifer. Ow. Hit him, Smee. Hit him, Smee. Hey. 
something about How about that pretty name Can you say Jennifer? Jennifer Jennifer Say Jennifer That's your homegirl. That's like your homegirl. Nah, nah, that's that, that my homegirl. Nah. Oh, okay, what we up, grew, Jenny? We grew up together, you know what I'm saying? Jenny from the block. Nah, <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, 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 so what, what what are you planning on putting this music on 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 the platform, man? I'm over here shazamming. So I don't see your music, man. What's going on? That one, uh, what you just heard was like a radio version. Um, it was released a little while ago, but then I took everything down, kind of remastered, reworked everything. But that's one of the ones I got a music video coming up for, and uh, some radio play. But I'm not sure when that's gonna be released. Just yet. Okay. Still talking to you? You got a he, 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 he ain't gonna let it go. He, he ain't gonna let. It go. <laughs> I wanna know too. Yeah. Manager, label. I ain't, I ain't got no manager. I ain't got no label. No PR company. I ain't got no. Uh, it's just you. Yeah, it's just, it's you. just me. Hey man. Listen to Jordan label anything? Man. You know, you hey, I, you say that. Hey, look, I met some. <laughs> I met somebody. He came up to me one day. He said, because he seen me performing. He said, man, you know, I, I work the death row, man. We trying to start it back up, man. We want you to join. And I was just like, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you should reach out to Snoop because Snoop want people that's that's not on that has no beef with nobody. That's what he said. He said he don't want death row to be like. You. Oh shit, you could be one of the people that he could be. It could be something. It could've it, it could have been your uh, your blessing in the sky and then I mean I still I still talk to Buddy. Uh I don't know, he uh he, he he trying his best to give me some advice. Some things he be saying, I'll be like, man, I don't really know what you're saying. He he said, man, let me give you some advice. This is what you need to do. He said you need to do a music video about ten ten he said about ten girls butt naked twerking with you. I said, to what song? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I mean, I get what you're saying, but. <laughs> that go home. And then it's going to get everybody's attention. And you on some different type shit. It could work. I'm playing, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the piano. <laughs> you don't need hey. a manager, man. You don't need hey. a manager. They got on, like, gloves. Nothing else. These niggas got horrible hustles. Like, yo, I can see it. <laughs> they, they the man's room. might be on. They, they in the somebody. back room like, yeah, this gonna work. This gonna work. This gonna work. <laughs> it could be just a little skit, anything, but it'll, it'll get you popping. I can see it going. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> we just put together a whole story just based on what he said. So you might got something for you. Next sale. <laughs> oh no. But does it? It sure the fuck it does. does. It does. It definitely does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like it used to. Oh no, it still does. <laughs> That's why I just. I think I think I think it does still sell, but it's a certain way. You know what I mean? Like it's like a it's like a it's like a strip tease. You just come in, no clothes on, and ain't really a strip tease. Man. Yeah. So it's like yeah, sex does sell, but it's how you say it in your song. Are you saying we in the bed doing this? Are you saying we're making? Love? You know what I'm saying? No, no. You know what I mean? mean? I, yeah. I, it's like it's sometimes they put that sexual in the window. Like back in the day, like they they put it in in the music. Nowadays, it's up, it's up like, I'm gonna try to you know, I'm gonna yeah, fuck you tonight. Right. Yeah, so shit right. like that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be in the I'm like, what he said, he said, good publicity, bad publicity is all it's all good. Oh, it's true. Fucking stop my motherfucking words. These my words, not yours. <laughs> it, it, I, I I agree with what you're saying. That that's another thing. Um, I was talking to somebody about saying like, uh, man, as long as you get noticed, that's what matters. But it's like, yeah, but you gotta look at it two ways. Cause you can have a million people notice you, and then you have a million people clown you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, yeah, you got to work on your marketing, your publicity, but make sure that your product is also good. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to just put something bad out there. It's like a million people saw it, but also a million people hate it. That makes sense? No, uh, no. Uh, fuck that, that shit. Yeah, 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 Clam me or hate me. A right. meal that is shit dropping. It it it's going to be the hottest day you it ever it heard in your life. It's a million motherfuckers coming in here hating, but they come to see what this clown doing today. Okay. Get it. Either way, they coming. It's going down. Come on, man. Still your fan. Yeah, they still your fan. Yeah, they still They just hate you. They said they just hate you. And I'm going to come into all of them. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Have a good day. Have a good day. Man. Oh, man. And then you going to start following just because they hate you so much. So me, I'm doing something kind of right. Fuck you, don't know, we? You about morals. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, I, I have morals. I mean, everybody got morals. It's some, everybody, everybody yeah, got, yeah, every, I'm, well, you're right. But I feel like majority of people got at least one thing. They'll say, nah, I'm not doing it. But you're right. There's, there's some people that just do everything. But I mean, yeah, I got morals. But to me, it's just like, at the end of the day, what, what kind of legacy do I want to leave? You know what I mean? So it's like, like I was saying earlier, I don't want just the hype. If you come to me today and be like, man, I can make you start tomorrow, it's like, eh, mm, how you gonna do it? I ain't really, you know what I mean? Like, but, yeah, I mean, it is, is, is. Uh, what if they wanna put you on high heels like Prince? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, now, now Prince did that himself. Oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. No, he did. He did. He did. He did. He said in the interview. He said. He said in the interview. Prince did that himself. He did yeah, that himself. And that was back in the day when that shit was a fashion statement. This shit nigga doing now is a difference. And like you say, it's a difference in actually doing it yourself and doing it for attention, and doing it because somebody else made you do it. Which is, I think, I think was, somebody said somebody signed to a label, somebody like that. <coughs> now, a lot of things I've learned from labels. It can be a very dangerous game. So what some labels are doing nowadays is they're signing new artists. They're not allowing them to release music. They're using them as a tax write-off. So once I sign you to my record label, you're a product. I don't have to sell you at all, but you're a product, and I can write you off on my taxes. So now I just signed you to a deal for $50,000, but I'm not allowing you to release your music, so you can never pay me that money back. You're stuck here. You see what I'm saying? That's why the whole major deal thing is phased out. Like, it's really distribution that we want. You know what I'm saying? The right distribution. 
But like, and I, I hope not too many of us want to major deal with any of these record companies. You do shit yourself. That's what you're doing now is you got to push, push, promote that shit. And a lot of people don't don't know that. They don't know that it's a lot of stuff you can do yourself. Like, it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of reading and educating, but a lot of people, a lot of artists don't want to do that. They just want to be up here right now. You know what I mean? So let's go get into this last song. Third song, Schmeeze. What's that, around the corner? Corner store. Corner store. Yes, sir. Get him, Schmeeze. The Starving Artist Podcast. Uh, yeah. Now I go with the press. Oh my God. Dropping the hot shit all fucking night. Talking about her in the camera, yo. 
Yeah, 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 yeah,